Wear the Gown is sponsored by CHI St. Vincent. AFib. No, it's not a story you tell to get yourself out of trouble. It's the most common type of irregular heartbeat. And to more fully understand it, think 4th of July. Here's Craig O'Neill in this week's Wear the Gown. How do fireworks explain an irregular heartbeat? Here's CHI St. Vincent cardiologist, Dr. Raj Chaka. You, you take a bunch of firecrackers, light them up all of, all of, uh, at once and have them in a small box. Imagine how they all fly around. That's how the electricity is going around in the, in, in the top chamber. The top chamber of the heart accelerates chaotically, and that's bad news for the bottom chamber. Bottom chamber is pumping irregular and faster. That's what people feel. People usually don't feel the top chamber as palpitations. They feel the bottom chamber irregularity as palpitations. And when you have that, you feel this. Palpitations, irregular heartbeats, anxiety kind of sensation, uh, shortness of breath, fatigue, tiredness. Know these symptoms because the big concern here is stroke or congestive heart failure. We don't have a cure yet, but we have pretty close to it. And the success rate improves if doctors catch it early and technology is helping. Uh, but in the future, the technology is going to do it. I think the smartwatches and the smartphones are probably the, our uh, uh, biggest bet on catching it early. Know the causes. Age, hypertension, sleep apnea, obesity, smoking. It's good to know the causes because... Prevention is really the best first thing to do. But the second stage is catching it early, and the third stage would be treating it appropriately. Know these electrical problems, the ones that can affect the heart, are treatable. Dr. Chaka is in this office, and with 20 years' experience treating AFib, he is confident he can help you. As long as they're in our door and we uh, have them on appropriate treatments, they do fine. Wear the gown and don't take fireworks to heart.